So this question is more of um, higher order thinking question where you need to apply the basic that you have learned in relation to the information that's given in the question. So figure 6.1 is a summary of some of the statistics published by UN AIDS about HIV, the virus is HIV, okay, the pathogen is HIV, and HIV stroke AIDS are the collection of diseases that will occur to the person after being infected by HIV, okay? So I already mentioned that AIDS is not a disease, it's a collection of opportunistic disease because the immune system of the infected person is compromised due to HIV infection. Okay, so AIDS is not a disease, it's a collection of opportunistic diseases. Okay, so based on the uh, figure, so they tell you that globally in 2017, uh, there are 36.9 million people that are living with AIDS. And out of that, 35.1 million are adults and 1.8 million are children. And then 21.8 million were provided with ART, which is antiretroviral therapy. And 47% of the people provided with ART means 47% of this, uh, while still living with HIV, do not have detectable levels of virus in their blood. So it means viral, um, viral load in the body is very low because of this treatment. So the person will live normally, okay? Whereas 940,000 people die from HIV stroke AIDS. Now, a person cannot die from HIV. Eh? A person die from that diseases, collection of diseases due to HIV infection. Okay? Now, 1.8 million people became infected with HIV. So, there are new group of people that are infected by HIV. So, these are all the information given in figure 6.1. So, what did the question ask the student to do? One other statistic published by UNH in... 2017 stated only 75% of the estimated 36.9 million people living with HIV know that they had been infected. So they know they are infected by HIV. So that means out of 75%, out of the, this total that, of the data that is given, only 75% of them know that they are infected, right? So therefore, how many percent do not know? Daniel, how many percent do not know they are infected? Daniel? Hello, are you there? How many percent? Daniel? Afik Daniel? I think Daniel is not responding. Okay, next, Amar. How many percent are, do not know they are infected with HIV? Amar. 25. How many? 25 percent. 25 percent, right? 25 percent of total people living with HIV did not know that they are infected by HIV. So this is the first marking point. So either you give me 25% or you calculate 25% of 36.9. Okay, so what is this value here? So this is the first marking point. So discuss the importance of this statistic. Important of this statistic means uh, using the information. So they ask you to refer to information in figure 6.1. When you know this statistic, what does it have? Um, what information can you get out of that? So this is total three marks. So from this, they ask you to refer to this figure, right? So use information from here to answer the question. So firstly, we already identified out of this total 25%, they did not know they are infected. So therefore, subsequently, what happened? Because they do not know they are infected, that means to say that they may not take, so you use information from here. So they may not actually take the ART treatment because they do not know they're infected. So this is second marking point. 
okay, they may not uh, go and seek for the treatment ART. So what happened when they do not seek for the treatment? That means they are, you see, the third, mark, the third answer you can get from here. Now, people who get treatment, right, they live without having detectable levels of virus. But if the person don't get the treatment, that means to say that they will have got higher viral load in their body because the virus are, are not being removed from the body. The virus are not being prevented from multiplying in the whole cell because there's no ART. So therefore, virus, virus can continue to be produced. The numbers increase in the body, so higher viral load. So what happens when there's higher vi viral load? If you use back the same um, figure, you know that higher viral load means to say that this virus will attack which cell of the body? Andrea. T, T helper. T helper cell, correct. So the T helper cell infected by the HIV. So you know the T helper cells function in immune system is supposed to secrete a chemical. So what is the chemical secreted? Chu Jia Ying. Cytokine. Cytokine. So you got a lot of T helper cell infected by HIV. They no longer function as T helper cell. They function as HIV production factory. So they will not secrete cytokine. What is the function of cytokine? Next student is Chloe. So what is the function of cytokine in immune system? Chloe. Yes, yeah. What is the function of cytokine in immune system? Stimulates a uh, clonal expansion of B cells. All B cells? Uh, B lymphocytes. All B lymphocytes? Selected B cells. Yes, selected B cells. Now, other than selected B cells, there are two more types of cells that can be stimulated by cytokine from the T helper cell in the immune system. What are the two types? Oh, thank you, Chloe. So what are the two other types? Philbert. Uh, is it the phagocytes? Phagocytes mean microphages. So the monocytes. And one more, very important, one more. Selected what? Selected what? Gilbert. It memory cells? No. Memory cells don't need cytokine. Memory cells need antigen to stimulate it. Okay, next. Next is uh, Gan Yuhan. What cell? Is it plasma cell? Not plasma cell. La. Plasma cell don't need cytokine already. La. Only B cell need cytokine. Okay. One more. Next. Who's next? After Gan Yuhan is Januli. Okay, Januli. Um, is it the infected body cells? Infected body cells, they are not stimulated by cytokine. What is the cell that uh, attack the infected body cell? Neutrophil? No. Next, Joyce. Is it T killer cell? Yes, very good. T killer cell, TK cell or TC cell. TC stands for cytotoxic. TK stands for killer. They're the same thing. Okay. They are supposed to attack only three types of cells in the body. What are the three types of cells attacked by TK cell? Next, Curti. Who they are called just now? Huh? Okay. Kirti, what are the three types of cells that the T killer cell will attack in the body? Kirti, what's that? Foreign cells. Foreign cells. Um, cancer cells. Cancer cells, correct. Okay, cancer cells. What do you mean by foreign cells? Is it foreign bacteria or what? Uh, non-self antigen. Non-self and 
That means it's actually foreign, foreign human cell. Ah. Okay, foreign human cell. Okay, usually in cell, in, in transplant or uh, a wrong blood group has been transfused. Okay, one more. So cancer cell, cell of transplanted organs and one more. Very important. One more, faster. Joyce? Uh, but... Yes, yes. Virus infected cells. Very good. Viral. Viral infected cells. Infected cells in our body. So TK cell will only attract you. Attract. No, not attract. Attack human cells that are abnormal. So these three types of human cells that are abnormal. So you can see how T helper cell is involved in activating so many different kinds of white blood cells to get involved in immune response, where finally um, antibodies will be produced and then phagocytosis are being activated and then the viral infected cells will be killed. So this is how T helper cells help to remove the HIV from the body. So when a T helper cell is infected by the HIV, it can no longer function normally. So it will not produce cytokine because it becomes HIV production factory. So because of that, HIV continues to be produced. So the level of HIV will increase should be the marking point. So the viral load becomes higher or the, the HIV level in the body increases. So increases, so what happened? Now you already know that when you learn about vaccination, the purpose of vaccination is so that the person has no symptoms, no reservoir, no transmission. I ask you to memorize this thing. So same thing here. When the person has got low viral level, that means the virus cannot affect the body. So there'll be no symptom. And then the virus is killed by the body. So the body doesn't store the virus. So because it doesn't store, it will not transmit to other people. But now because the virus becomes higher level in the body, so the person may get sick. Now for HIV means the person may actually uh, get AIDS because of opportunistic infection and eventually the person may die. So based on this figure, they actually talk about people dying from HIV. So you can say that there will be more people that will die from, you just copy from here, HIV stroke AIDS. If you write die from HIV, it will be wrong because a person cannot die from HIV. The person died from other diseases because the HIV causes immune system to be weakened. So it doesn't kill the person. It's other disease that will kill the person. So you cannot say die from HIV. It's, a, it's very different. So your second round, when you revise this chapter again, pay attention. What does the pathogen do is different from what the disease do. You have to use the right name to the right uh, context in your description. You cannot use interchangeably one. Okay, so you have to pay attention to this detail. So talk about this, you get one mark. Then of course, um, when the person did not know that he's carrying HIV, not only he will not take ART treatment, he may also will not take preventive measures that can cause the HIV to spread to other people like you start to share uh, intravenous needles in taking the drugs, for example, uh, did not perform safe sex, okay? And also uh, breastfeeding. So this is the consequence of them not knowing it. So therefore, there will be more people. So you can use this information here, right? There'll be more people that will be infected with HIV. Infected, okay, with what? HIV. So this is how you um, use the information in the question to answer the question. Right, see, this is all about, I'm using everything that's in the figure to help me to answer the question only. So that's what the question asks a student to do. 
So it's supposed to refer to the information, right, in the figure. Tell me what is the importance of this statistic. So you have to relate to that 25% of people who do not know. So that's how you answer the question. 